So I'm reading comments here, Conor McGregor, drug testing, uh, someone says on YouTube, you spend 60% of your videos calling Reuters who aren't lol. McGregor has been tested by USADA four times, every single fight, even when he isn't training or fighting, it's year round testing, clueless, you probably never train martial arts and never compete in anything. Says MM, double MA picks, MMA picks, double MA, double noob. I've never been, actually I, I have. I have never been drug tested in my life and I've raced hundreds of races, running races and cycling races. I've actually never actually been te drug tested. Um, you started, so this, this fucking noob says, because someone passes a drug test, they're not using, they're full natty bra. And this noob has never heard of a person called Lance Armstrong, who was the most tested athlete in sports history. And Lance Armstrong never tested positive for testosterone, never tested positive for EPO, never ever tested positive for blood doping, never ever ever. The only test Lance tested positive for was cortisone. Cortisone, yes, it's illegal in cycling unless you have a TUE, a ther therapeutic use exemption form. What does cortisone do? It's an endurance hormone. You inject cortisone and you are going next level. You just don't feel pain as much. You've got zing, zing. I've never used it. Uh, actually, I have used it. I've had, I've had a cortisone injection for an injury, but I never used it as a training thing. I've only had one cortisone shot in my life, 1998, from SportsMed, aka Porsche Med, here in South Australia. But cortisone, very common, uh, works really good. Also, corticosteroids, etc., can help you cannibalize muscle, which you don't want as a cyclist. You don't want muscle. You want to be rail thin. People say you need to do low cadence for strength. Someone else has said it on here. Uh, low cadence for strength, actually that's another video, but you don't need strength for cyclists. 400 watts for an hour is not strength. That's stamina endurance. You don't need strength to do 400 watts if you weigh 70 kilos. It's not strength. It's fucking easy to do it. Easy to do 400 watts, but to hold it longer than one minute, 20 minutes, an hour, that's what we're talking about. That is red blood cell count. It's not strength. I know plenty of dudes who can fucking do a thousand watts for a couple of seconds, and they can do 400 watts easy, but their watts per kilo is too low. So it's not about strength, it's about power to weight. Uh, in terms of McGregor, Conor McGregor, because he gets drug tested, means he's clean. <laughs> and there's another person, this person I've heard of, Marion Jones, the world's most tested female athlete on the planet. USADA testing is a fucking joke. USADA is a fucking joke. They don't even do carbon isotope ratio testosterone testing as their first line of testing for testosterone. Fair trade, organic, 